yesterday I had a crash. I think it was related to disk space. I hope it's not going to happen again. And uh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, for stream, I guess the, there is not much was lost, but for for YouTube for recording, I guess I could uh, download uh, this part from the stream and like clay clay it together. But I still need to re redo stuff. I think it's only only saved when I entered the. Carry on, so I have to actually do a bunch of stuff again. Yes, poke with Devilus. Her look is so reminiscent of, of something I can't remember. Uh, so now we go back. Write a report. Then I went to checkered. Garden. I won this skill test two times. I spoke to a robbery man. He showed me a pantomime of two tentacles. back okay success that's good I want to just repeat everything I did exactly nice and we can can do it for the third time and hope that I actually gain terror huh that's funny what's the chances of that like it's the same to success and fail as the the last time, unless it's uh, rigged. Shouts behind you, the White Queen is captured just as you go, but there is no time to look back and at uh, the match in progress. So okay, we go. We can go to other places. This is the Garden of uh, Insatiable Roses. Only penitents uh, with the stained souls may visit the Garden of Insatiable Roses. The path runs around the side of uh, Carillon to an area that cannot be seen at uh, all from the center. It's a narrow and uh, unassuming path, almost overgrown, and uh, the ground underfoot is soft earth. Explore the undergrowth as you go, read the footprints, identify that scent. Well, let's do something that won't progress us anywhere, hopefully. 
the p footprints of men and women and devils uh, and goats. Wait, do de devils have different footprints? Do they have hooves in this universe? Are printed in the soil and they're unspoiled by the other tracks. Uh, or they have like uh, fiery feet like H Hades and uh, Zagreus and they're unspoiled by other tracks, a highly arched footprint with three toes How often asleep uh, have you remembered this creature and how often have you forgotten it waking up? Mm, a dreamy creature by the fence there is a composing pile, thousands of... Uh, oh, I progressed through that, come on. I just read the prints, uh, I mean pr prints and uh, it seemed like I could do other stuff too, but I guess not. Thousands of worms are reducing uh, to mulch a heap of uh, inaccessible book matter. Unacceptable book matter. Uh, most of the books were confiscated from penitents. Now uh, and then the compost catches fire and uh, a supervising devil has to put it out. But this fertilizer explains the aggression of the plants that grow there. <laughs> okay, fertilizing crops with the book paper gain a penance of excess approach the hellish pendant and return well, let's talk to uh, the guy first I guess at the, at the center of uh, the garden is a picnic bucket there is too much frosting on all of the cakes, too much oil in the salads. But several of the penitents sit uh, glumly eating, with only their own clothes for napkins. The devil, devilous sits among them, eating trickle from a jar. What's trickle? Well, I don't know the synonym if the synonym exists for this, but I I think I understand what it is. High power. Uh, what do we have? Ask what she's doing here, she's paying a price on her own behalf. Hell. Supposedly, supposedly, says the deviless between bites, the souls of devils are in incapable of being refined. You can, you make some adjustments, improve here and there, and then a death or two later and all the work is done. But I'm determined. If humans can be improved, so can I. So <laughs> they continue improving souls after a bunch of deaths? Like, is there reincarnation happening? Or are they like, Kill, kill humans and then revive them somehow in this place. Wouldn't surprise me. Alright. I guess leave the picnic. Offer, uh, offer a serving of self-knowledge. I need... 
inescapable truth. Five. Okay, hearts, my hearts are very low. I don't think it's a good idea, but let's see what's failure going to give us. Probably just five terror, and then I'm going to assume that's going to be everywhere. The Those who cross boundaries too often are taught here uh, that uh, those limits have meaning. Change. A seer sneaked into an undertaker's parlor to get a look at the deceased. As punishment, she has been s served a vat of small beer and required to consume it completely. Okay. As you, as for your punishment, it uh, does not bear speaking of. For a month afterward. You see devils dancing in the corner of your eyes. It's like everywhere. And also, it, this line, for some reason, um, appears even when you succeed. Which I don't get. Why? And what's so scary about a vat of small beer? How far have I gotten in sunless skies? Uh, not far. Oh. Like the third stream, I guess. Well, let's not uh, tempt fate. The Vegetable smell fades. When you get to the end of the path, it feels as though you have forgotten something. Something that you knew very recently. I guess we could explore other things, but there's not much I can do. So, garden for hearts. A checkered garden for whales. What about stunted grove? At the center of Carillon, a half height grove of black thorn bushes. There is no real gate, but not much of a wall either. There is only a low stone barrier, perhaps a foot tall, easy to step over. Hmm, it's iron test. The thorn bushes grow thorns an inch or more long. There are paths between them, but it is hard to pass without uh, tearing one's clothes. Uh, the devils who work here have uh, scratched uh, on their forearms, though they do not seem to mind. There is uh, not a single comfortable place to sit. Gain a penance of ordeal. The punishments here are particularly physical in nature. I have a little bit more iron than hearts. Approach the professional penitent. She's seated on a stool eating vast quantities or of sorbet. She collects penance for other people. Speak with a professional penitent, it's a slow process but the quality is better than the indulgence penance one may buy from the reciting devilus. Okay, you'll have no idea what to use. I can, it can be. Penance. Quantities of sorbet. The penitent is seated on a stool eating from an enormous barrel of violet sorbet. There is enough to supply a carnival. 
Uh, the penitent's lips are blue. Uh, her fingers are sticky. There are purple smears on her frock. Wasps are taking an interest in the side of her face. <laughs> when you come over, she puts down her spoon long enough to greet you. I'm here on behalf of Viscountess who doesn't love her children. She is waiting back in London for me to deliver her penance. Pointedly, the supervising devil sets another long-handled spoon at her elbow. Okay. Maybe I can do a quest for her? Ask the penitent about the devil with rose-colored clothes. Perhaps she knows something. She seems well acquainted with the place. Oh yes, she smiles remi reminiscently when you describe the devil in question. I know him, she says. I've, I've been coming here a long time. In my line of work, he used to, to be very highly placed, you, you know, and uh, then the reciting devilist caught him pinching supplies from the storehouse and gave him a demonition. Now he performs a few of the lesser punishments, some lightweight pitchforking, a little work uh, with the hot poker, but his heart isn't in it. Devils don't stick long at anything. Hmm. I, I, I don't think I've met that devil, but I remember the main devil is talking about him and asking to deal with him. Hmm. And that's it. The wall is lower from this side. It's even easier to leave than to enter because the ground is uneven. Oh, is th is the wall going to grow? <laughs> like if I have too much scenes, it's going to be higher. Something like that. That's a bit creepy. <laughs> Okay, that was a grove. Grove for iron. Bell garden. The ascent of is rocky. The sound of chimes is audible all the way down here. Deprivation. Turned back. You put your foot on the first step and a devil blocks you. Those who enter the bell garden must be in proper state of hygiene, comrade. <laughs> how does he know about my... How, how to address me? <laughs> he says. Wouldn't want to, to make things worse for the poor sufferers. He washes his hands in the fountain. Stopping you must uh, have been grabby work. You have been turned away for impurity. Oh, come on, why can't I just wash my hands? Or... What? I still passed. Grey stone, uh, the color of a monastery, attending devils and devilesses, dressed in uniform, and an incoming parade of the sick, the friendless, the dying, and those who think their lives would be better if they, if only they were something else. This is Carillon, where souls are refined into something more impressive. Oh wait, yeah, I, I actually been turned back. But I've been turned turned back into the building? For some reason? 
yeah, what the hell? Like, I'm, I'm starting here. I'm not entering foyer. I'm going to around uh, the island. Whatever. Wait, ritual f of purification to enable entrance to the bell garden. What do you present? Why not? Those who wish to enter the bell garden must first undergo lustrations, lustrations and prayers. Nice. Fountains, pebbles, shoes. First remove your shoes, wash your face from the fountain of fresh water and your feet in the basin of salt water. Walk across a patch of white sand, throwing a pebble over your left shoulder to baffle any ill-omened uh, thing that might be following you. Then sleep uh, in a hammock on a private balcony when you only, where only other patients may enter. When you wake up, eat a plain white bread with the salt crust. After all this, you'll be ready. I, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't sound clean to me. Carillon Car is broken into terraces, where most of the soul treatments take place. Some some are easier to access than others. They don't have a good understanding of hygiene, but I guess it's for your soul. So now I have purification pass. The stairs lead up. To the highest and coldest point of Carillon, the bells ring louder as you climb. The music is mathematical and exact. Each note sounds for exactly the same length of time, the same duration that is required to ascend one step. No one passes anyone else on the stairs. Well, it's hard again, but easier. Uh, in a tower over the bell garden, twelve devils ring a change of twelve bells. Uh, the full peel will take eleven thousand days to complete without uh, intermission. From time to time, one devil leaves uh, another, setting in during the half minutes when the particular bell is at rest. There are no errors. This mathematical music can be heard everywhere in Carillon, but it is loudest here. Impurity and uh, imprecision are not welcome. Okay. Well, basically the same thing. I can approach somebody. I, could, I can do a skill test. Approach a penitent nurse. She huddles in the corner, her face trapped in a grimace. She is huddled in a corner with a cotton soft in her ears. Well, let's try it out. It's too loud to speak, certainly. You can communicate in writing. She has been she has been within the sound of the bells for 40 days. The clangor is starting to dis disrupt her mind. She begs you will help her and out of your kindness pay part of her penance for her. She would do the same for you. She is very kind and forgiving soul. To convince you of this point, she scribbles down assurances, compliments, and a sketch of herself ministering to a leprous child. Hmm. 
Ask the nurse about the devil with the rose colored gloves. Has uh, he passed this way? Does he like bell music? Renzi. She shakes her head in distress. Uh, the words she scribbles uh, for you are, if you can read her writing, seen the kind before, had them in hospital sometimes. Uh, you can't get anything clear out of her. Okay. Yeah, let's not let's not try this. I will come back here later when I have more skill points. Or some terror to spend. 33 already a bit too much and it's almost like a beginning of my travel. Also I should save probably. Yeah, let's do that. haven't been in the first place. This is the Gaslight Terrace. Dozens of newcomers walk in that direction. Must be a safe choice. In a flow of ordinary folk. Your companions are a lady in a buttoned cloak a young and a young male student. They talk among themselves about the seasonable warmth and uh, about how the yellowish glow of the lamps does not uh, show blue silk to their effect. Also, devils in the first game, they, they've they been living next to a fucking volcano because it, it was too cold for them anywhere else. Like, it's supposed to be hot here? Their words are commonplace, their hands folded and Loved their opinions supplied by a respectable gazette. You have uh, almost forgotten them, even while you are still walking together. The path descends by shallow steps to a board terrace as crowded as imperial exhibition. Okay, enlightenment, really easy to get, seems like. Approach the spineless curate. He sits in stocks attended on by a devilish orderly. At the nearest station, a curate he has been shackled into an ordinary pillory. Meet the spineless crate. His eyes beseech you to visit him. You step closer. I've seen you. S I've seen something in this light. It's hard not to see things. A devilish orderly jabs uh, the curate with a needle. At the sight of the jab, the curate's skin uh, goes uh, lavender. I'm being treated for not believing in God. I've tried everything. Prayer, fasting, long weekends with the professional saint. None of it worked. My sermons were suffering. My bishop complained. And... And has it helped? No, wait. And has it helped? What? Uh, so confusing is this? Someone's replic? And has it helped? I have dream dreams of shakes and angels, he says. It hasn't made my, me a mystic. I don't think the devils are real either. 
just men with funny eyes, aren't they? The devilish orderly smiles with extra teeth. Well, I don't like that belief. At the nearest station, a curate has been shackled into... yeah. Alright. I still want... I'm going to... Uh, do anything here. Wait, you need only two, though. <laughs> Cure your lightless soul. Perhaps you have fallen into habits. Perhaps you haven't stretched your imagination lately. Well, I don't have lightless, so... If I ever gain that, I can cure it here. No one, no heads, no heads turn. You brush past a matron in grey boots, a train conductor in his uniform, and a young boy who has already adopted an expression of fixed ennui. None of them notices you passing by. None shows any interest in your breaking this conversation. All right, I think I'm done in here. We got our report. Let's see what's in shops. Uh, wait a sec. Uh, barrel of unseasoned s hours, not souls. Uh, I don't know about that. So. When you have this, I think it's always cheap, but the question is where to sell it. Like in Winchester, you, pr you can probably sell anything, but I'm not going there yet. We can get like one supply. I don't know why when you press on hold it uh, loads so long. Let's see, we need munitions, souls, uh, traitor's wood, literature. I already forgot about this one. Most of all, we need seeds, and they are here. Hmm. That was a bit of a detour. Oh, nice. Just free experience. I like seeing. extra location related to the port. Oh yeah, they simplified it quite a lot. I don't know if I like it though. Like in the first game it, it was it was hard to to grasp the trading. It was a big learning process. And uh, I even had a Excel file open to write down where I bought it for what price and like remembering all different ports. Right now it kind of just uh, tells you where to go, what to do. I 
haven't died yet. Which is nice. I think in the first game I died very fast. But it might due to a fact that uh, I played the first one. Some of the experience carried over. Also battle right now, I think much easier, well, so far. So right now I am trying to get three packs of seeds and uh, deliver them to the place I haven't found yet, it's uh, uh, Magdalene's? Magdalene's Lies? I'm not sure if Lies is a part of the title. Then in Magdalene's I will buy souls and deliver them to Port Prosper, which I haven't found too. And Magdalene's should be at West. Are they... are they randomly generated? Uh, like in the first game? Or the map is static? Well, they keep finding something, but... I don't want to to waste fuel right now. We're going for seeds. Let's explore a bit here just in case. Less random than seeds. I don't remember cheesing in uh, some seeds. Maybe I just didn't knew a way. But like here, it's really easy to dodge. At least, well, starting battles were quite easy. And just uh, I've been staying uh, far away from ships and shooting them. AI is not great, but like bumping into rocks all the time. But like in uh, in seas, you have you had to stay close to them. You had to risk. And here you you, you can snipe them from far away, and uh, their AI is just trash. Or the same. Alright. Join the a hunting party, eh? That's new. Well, let's start with the story then. An opportunistic ranger smiles a mostly toothless grin and shows off his many scars from the beasts of the nature reserve. And, and uh, yeah, I joined the hunt hunting party. 16% chance of success, oof. What uh, threat can a few unruly animals be to an unarmed, an armed group of the sky's finest yeah finest explore the nature reserve on your own 
Reduce terror. Oh, I need to reduce terror. You prefer your adventures more scenic and less liable to result in the less in the loss of limbs. Oh, that would be cool if they they had this mechanic. Like, if your captain could lose a hand or a leg. A pleasant walk. Along, along with a few of your uh, braver crew members, you set out into the depths of uh, nature reserve for a bracing walk, walk and uh, a quiet picnic. The fauna around here is shy when you're not being, when not being hunted. It doesn't uh, even try to steal your scones. <laughs> Well, I'm assuming something really rewarding could be hunting, but I'm not I'm not ready. At least I should have like less terror for that. And more iron. Okay. Anything new? Report National Park maintained at great expense by the company, scores of research, yeah, the same. Yeah, I think reports just always the same. Put up a flyer. Oh, yeah, flyer. Tourists uh, from across the empire come here. Perhaps you can encourage them to divert to the circus on their route home. So yeah, strong woman asked me to hand out flyers. That was one of the missions I could choose and I thought this was the easiest. Parents and children enter fierce debate about the limits of human strength. Dear heart, no, no one can lift an asteroid, but she's the strongest. She could lift anything. Helping the circus, an occurrence. Your poster posted in L and S. Quality is now one. You have uh, advertised the strong woman's performance in L and S. Okay. Do I need to? Come back later? Oh, fuck. Converse with your fellow captains. Or is it? was it another place? Should go... What's this? Oh yeah, another place. It's uh, Winchester. Yeah, it's fine. Converse with your fellow captains. For a few, it's uh, the work provided by LNS. The rest, the reason is the same. They are drawn by the beauty of the reserve. Some are here with tourists from across the empire. Others are here to give their crews a respite. Others were simply passing by and couldn't resist stopping in. I think I read that. This concrete bay is for loading and unloading locomotives. It uh, disappoints tourists who expect to arrive at the scenic waterside. It mainly caters for the workers of uh, the LNS company who come to collect goods from the laboratories here. Cable co yeah, I read that. Fuck. Now it's kind of forgettable. <laughs> Others were simply passing by. I couldn't. Okay. That just repeats one cycle. I guess nothing else I can do. Let's just. Uh... Wait. Oh, fuck. There were. Oh, there were a bunch of uh, tabs for stories. Capabilities in quest. Yeah, I haven't seen those. Damn it. 
I could have explored earlier. Again, a uh, Dark Brotherhood from Oblivion sign. Or maybe a uh, Death Stranding a clump of cabins used by LNS researchers as they clum, cli clump and uh, catalog the secrets of the re reserve. Enterprising captains may find work for the company here. Oh, I actually asked for work and then... Or was it on the other island? They like refused? Base of research. The researchers of the reserve have a number of laboratories scattered among the tourists' tourists' cabins. Okay. From here, they study the mysteries of the reach. Read the request uh, to all park goers. A researcher of the reserve has pinned up a call of aid. We want to study the powerful forces of nature at work in the research, so that we may improve the life of all citizens of the Empire. If you are an intrepid sort and willing to aid our earnest efforts with a big E we are offering a reward for the following this is the same character or? I see you are interested the phlegmatic researcher has wheeled up behind you uh, his left leg is raised perhaps to reduce uh, the very obvious swelling. The key is to understanding the remarkable principles of uh, growth and cultivations are waiting here. We just need a suit. We just need suitable specimens. If you aid our research, I'll ensure you properly remunerated. So they need specimens. The researchers of the reserve have a number of laboratories scattered among the tourists. Yeah, fuck. Uh, the list. The phlegmatic researcher is studying the mysteries of the rich. What can you bring to aid him? He needs one of the following requests. Of course, he is happy to reward you if you bring back more. Right. Uh, requested it to be brought the wing of the forester bee. Oh, I, I guess I'll need to bring down a hive. I'm not sure I'm my ship is ready for that. I uh, I've encountered some of them. It's a bit risky. Experiments sanctioned by the company. Like, I, I, I escaped the bees only because they were stupid and uh, bumped into a rock. Barely got away. Uh, has requested to be brought ants and uh, Ibra's pus. Sure. Oh, is that the scientist? The researchers of the nature reserve toil away in their laboratories. The phlegmatic researcher has identified certain elements, however, which may quicken their progress. I like ask about uh, about them uh, to determine the cause of their melody. We seek the wings of a chorister bee. What is what is it that makes them sing when 
their smaller sisters only buys. Oh. So there are different kinds of bees here, right? Maybe I haven't found a chorister bee. Just regular ones and they almost kicked my ass. Ants? I have received curious reports from certain homesteads about the behavior of ants. Given the reports of the ants circling those soon to die, we consider the creatures apt for study. Hebrews boss. The whipping scores of Hebrews may heal deeper insight into the verdant reach. It may hold properties either beneficial or determinal to the human aim. We intend to find out. Alright. I think I'm down here. Or should I leave? So if I go here again... Hmm. Okay... Turning in your research... But I don't have anything. Hope... It's not going to just... Fail the quest? into the phlegmatic researches current course of study what mysteries is he delving into I'm currently currently I'm making a study of the orderless of the rich it may be untamed but a firm logic has guided its growth I wish to better the understanding of British principle to bet the to better understand this principle. Well, it doesn't tell me much. What about the last one? Uh, Albert's ideal. Uh, the Elena's nature reserve is. Uh, immense, untrodden interland of the riches, unreasonably, unreasonably fecund flora and fauna. It is popular with the London's more outdoorsy tourists. Into the reserve, the park is filled with birds and flowers, trees and woodland creatures, streams and bumbling insects, and other insects is dangerous into the reserve all right arranged for a guide T Freddy I don't need to pay anything tour guides are essential in this place park guests are forbidden from entering the deeper sections of the reserve alone The only reason available, the only person available to help you is a romantic ornithologist. Oh, do you like birds? Is uh, lean and plainly dressed, with a long, wiry beard. Uh, the other researchers introduce you. Did you know our college here? Calling here? One indicates the ornithologist is looking for the mythical bird whose beak peck, peck, pecks away the, at the mountain of eternity. They stifle giggles. The ornithologist maintains his smile and gestures forward the, forward, the forest path. I'll be glad to show you the reserve. I hope you'll join the you join me later. You can often find me at the watchtower. Alright. The park is filled with yeah. 
Take a quick trip into reserve. Go to visit ornithologist. Well, what's the difference if we're still going to go on a tour with him? Yes, let's visit him first. If he is not thinking, if he's not hiking through the wilderness or camping beneath the. Oh. Uh, tree branch? A main branch of a tree. Or camping beneath the bow of uh, one of the great trees. He is sat alone in his watchtower watching for his bird. But he, he, he's ornithologist and he only has one bird. He nods hello as you enter. Welcome, T. As uh, ask about the bird, ask about the reserve, ask. Uh, well, let's go for everything. He's researching a mythical bird. What is it and why? There are other birds I c could study, of course. He says, shrugging, but. That's not the point. We had thought this bird a myth. The birds who wears only at the mother of mountains, pebble by pebble. But miners have seen it. The heavens are home to improbable things. The park is... yeah. Why is it throwing me away <laughs> after each uh, question? Ask about the reserve, how does he find the wilderness? He smiles like a child. It is my home, he says, my church. The park is filled with... Yep. Stop throwing me away, like... What's what's going on? I'm going up to his tent, like ask about something and then go away and then return and ask him about something else. Very eccentric captain. Ask about his fellow researchers. Is he on good terms with the other scientists? <laughs> like other scientists bullying this one like they are nerds and he's the the ultimate nerd by their standards so even even simple nerds are bullying him the ornithologist tilts his head from side to side i get i get on better alone it's not that i don't enjoy company but he sketches his beard i think it's a difference in philosophy they want to conquer nature and her secrets. I want to be her confident. Alright. Let's go meet. Oh, Sky Stories. I, I already have a bunch and I forgot to recruit a fucking guy from a circus. God damn it. Was he available though? Maybe. Mm, sure. Maybe I just forgot. The romantic ornithologist clasps uh, his hands uh, with uh, quiet delight when he sees you. Even though I've been talking to him and uh, approaching him like I think five times. I found the most wonderful place, shall we? You delve into the reserve together. The birds sing around you. The flowers offer sweet perfume. Perf Perfumes. I don't know what, what the fuck with this word. <laughs> uh, of a pleasant breeze. Every time I see this word, I can't pronounce it properly. Uh, pleasing, pleasing breeze tumbles through a glade and uh, whistles around a mountain band. So get sky stories out of this. Anything else? 
Uh, the park is filled with birds and flowers, trees and woodland creatures. Yeah, wait. Uh. Oh, walk alone. Will I gain terror? There are no guides to escort you at the moment. A brief wonder. There are reasons why tours tour guides are considered essential here. The reserve is not for the faint-hearted. Most visitors will soon find themselves desperately lost. You are fortunate in that, while you spend a while explore exploring to find only nothing, you are still able to return safely. You must wait till a guide is available if you wish to find anything. No, oh, that's lame. It should have punished me right away. Like I just happened to find my way back, even though most of people were lost. It shouldn't have been like a complete disaster. <laughs> oh man, I got a lot of quests from uh, Carillon. Well, I uh, guess that's it. Just got uh, Sky Stories for free. I haven't even paid him. We got the report. Um, should I go to Winchester first? I don't know. Seeds. Uh, maybe one fuel or one supply. Let's go for fuel. If we out of supplies, we can still eat crew. So it's fine. Let's go. So, yeah, Winchester is way too far. So I'm, I'm assuming this mandolin's place should be here. Titania, what Titania has? Nectar. Let's try going this way. Hmm, I, I saw a bird. What the hell? I thought it's supposed to be freezing outside. How, how birds still fly? Oh, there is no path. Um, hmm. I guess I'll have to go around. Damn. Might be something here, but I think that was the place where I found bees and they, they almost got me. A lot of tunnels. Then in the last game, like, come on.
I swear to God, if one sack of seeds sprouts again, I will fucking flip. Attacking dies. I read dies a piece. Is this Latin? I need to check that. Maybe it's just. Uh... This apparently means B. E. Area. This I have no idea. Alright, Titania is under siege. Chorister bees flood the streets and petals. Uh, the thrashing of their wings is the drumbeat of Apocalypse. Uh, and the people flee in panic from their mighty singers. Uh, but there is no safe harbor and no respite. All is lost. 38% huh. chance of success fighting bees. I mean, I hate bees with all my heart. But... It's risky. Yeah, fuck it. Let's kill some bees. Even even if, if we we fail, maybe we'll just get hurt but still succeed. All hands, ready. All weapons, fire. God, fire. Silence in the space of half an hour. It's really hard to not look at the outcome right now, but uh, I'm trying. Play. <laughs> Playing song drowns the elimination and the fury and the mind. All the words, all the world uh, joins death's hymno. Uh, those who proudly defy their fate and those who beg for wretched mercy. Those who raise their arms, those who buckle their knees. The Chorister Hive takes the lyrics of poets yet unwritten, the unsung songs from lips now forever silent. It is only iron and fire that quietens the voice of carnage, but lo, a song ends uh, only by its own accord. Uh, once the nectar is gathered, the hive departs, and there is uh, lasting silence. Hmm. I actually missed the message was it fail or success just one crew member so i i guess i would call it a win maybe they will uh, it's failed no oh. wasn't so bad then just one crew member who cares maybe they will reward me for a heroic deed uh ba -ba. Or maybe not. Ungrateful. A thousand voices. I, I read that. New start for Titania. Two of Titania's most prominent citizens are arguing about the new direction of the port post 
be apocalypses. Great. The Rhapsodic Mayor is uh, disinclined to be the deciding vote. So every time bees uh, go on them and every time they just rebuild the city and still sit in here. The Rhapsodic Mayor looks relieved to see you. Uh, Captain, perhaps you can help settle a little matter for us. We've agreed that we need to choose one style and stick with it, but... I mean... Soon bees will come again and ruin everything. Why even bother? You can try all sorts of styles. She sighs, gesturing at her fellow council members. The melancholy poet and stone-faced sculptor. Well, we find ourselves at uh, an impasse. Your thoughts? Was it... Uh, the lady that spoke? Or the mayor? Or... She's the mayor. <laughs> Maybe she's, she was the mayor and I chose the wrong voice. Hmm... Wait, what? Why can't I... Advocate? Uh... You must have visited Albion to choose this. Oh. Albion style or... The other style. Damn. Okay. Oh, back away then. You depart swiftly. They are unlikely to come to a decision anytime soon. Really? That's it? Fuck. I hope you still have, you still trade. And they trade in souls. Hmm. I just told that... Man... Magdalene's sells souls. I wonder if it's cheaper there. And for whom do I need souls? <laughs> that seeds. No, oh, Port, Port Prosper, I haven't even found it yet. So yeah, let's not buy them, but let's remember that it, it was 55. And they sell Nectar for 120. It was not a great deal. And I'm... Uh, Pretty low on money. Oh, that was a waste. Nah, not going there. Also, previous uh, question marks disappeared here. Do we need to go to drop off seeds to uh, Magdalene's? I think it was called. Let's confirm. Uh, Magdalene's. Yeah. I thought it was called Magdalene's Lies because of the last sentence. It's just Magdalene's, I guess. I need to maybe check how much drill and what what cost it has. Maybe it's not that costly. 
There was drill, there was a magnifying glass, something else, like instruments you can use. It's also kind of hard to uh, maintain terror. I still haven't figured out the way, the good way to do it. Before it was just going to London and uh, relaxing. So, what is this? It. Mm, the house of small comfort. Yeah, Magdalene's. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. Eighty and profit just uh, <laughs> one hundred. Weighing the right. Yeah, that's not much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Have I bought it for 25? Uh, then it's 75 versus 240. So it's 165. But I bought sacks two times because they sprouted. Which means it was 150 versus 240. The profit is 90. And that's my first trading mission. <laughs> Wait, did I got something else? There was an icon of like a gossip, maybe? We got experience too. Wait, what? You've gained 100 sovereigns on top? That's kind of lame. From from where the sovereigns come from? <laughs> like sure the experience and uh, yeah, why? Whatever. Ministry approved let literature they sell. Five, and I think I had a mission for that. Yeah, I, I know that it's for completing the quest, but in in reality, who who actually pays me that? Like, I sold the goods. It just should have been included in the price of uh, selling the goods. That's it. An experience you should have just get gotten for completing a quest, and that's that. What I would have liked. Uh, literature for tra traitors wood. No, I haven't found it. I think north north east. Yeah, and that's. A lot of hot space. 
I don't think I will be completing that just yet. Oh, it's time to make a break in the recording. <laughs> 